This is a short video on how I use eBird with your host, Andy Spellman. eBird is a tool put out by Cornell. It is how I compile all of my bird lists electronically and keep them in the cloud, so to speak. This is a great tool. In this video, we're going to look at several tabs on how to submit, how to view and explore data, and my eBird eBird also comes with features and pictures from birders of all over the nation. One thing to be cautioned is you are actually recording scientific data and there are people who monitor eBird, so make sure and put in valid observations. To begin with, we're going to go to the Submit Observation tab. This is where you put in your observations. In this tab, you select from locations that you typically bird. In my example, we're going to use 20 mile reservoir. Click on continue. Now we're going to put in the date and effort. On the particular day, it was a stationary count and it was January 28th 2011 starting at around 2 p.m. and lasting about oh 45 minutes or so and there was three of us birding that day. Click continue. Next we're presented with a list of either alphabetic or taxonomic list of birds and we're going to enter the species. So for example, Canada Goose, and I saw 219 that day. The other way of entering is to type in jump to species mallard, and I'm going to put in, saw roughly 20 mallard that day. I'm going to set about to putting in the rest of the birds that I saw, 15 shovelers, common golden eye, about 10. Hooded merganser, there were three. Canvas back, one. Ring neck duck, there were two. Green wing teal. There were four. Now I'm going to jump to species. Ring build gull, and that's quite a bit further down. Saw so approximately 40 individuals that day. And back to the top, so I click on top. Now there was another bird that I saw was a Barrow's Goldeneye. Barrow's Goldeneye does not come up on the list of typical birds that you see in the area at that time of year. So I'm going to switch to rare species. Again, be prepared to defend the species that you put down because there are monitors who will challenge you. So Barrow's Goldeneye on Add Species and I saw one. Okay, back to the top. And I always click on oh, one more black billed magpie. Click on top. Don't forget. You're submitting a complete list, so that needs to be checked yes. Would you like to provide comments, yes or no? For the Barrows Goldeneye, I want to provide a comment, so I'm going to click Continue. The system is also going to ask me to double check and make sure, are you sure that's what you saw? And I'm going to click on Confirm. 
click on continue. Now I can put in my comments. I'm going to scroll down to the Barrows Goldeneye. I saw one female adult and the reason why I know it was a Barrows Goldeneye and not a common because it had all yellow bill, all yellow beak. Now I'm going to go to continue. Gives me a list of all the birds I'm about to submit on my on my bird list for the day. Scroll to the bottom to check everything's okay. And now I'm going to hit submit. Now one of the next tabs we're going to be taking a look at is view and explore data. And I like to compare myself to people in my immediate area. So I'm going to the top 100 birders in the state of Colorado and in a particular county, Douglas County, Colorado. That's where I live. Continue. And at that time, I had completed 17 checklists and identified 50 species. And that ranks me third in the Douglas County area as far as number of birds identified. The last tab we're going to explore is My eBird. My eBird is, this is the beauty of the eBird program because it keeps a composite list of everything that I've seen, including 228 life birds, 69 for the year in the state, and 50 for the year in the county, as well as just one bird at that time in the county on that month.